We have a really good workout for you today. Jesse is going to be teaching it, and we're going to do this a little bit differently because it is a full length, high intensity interval workout. So we're going to do a how to video, and then we're going to do a video of us actually going through the workout with all the interval timer. That way any of you that don't have an interval timer at home can still do the workout and get the full benefits. So here's Jesse to get you started. Hi, fitness bender dog commerce. <laughs> Note to self, we need to come up with a good nickname for people that follow our website. That's just way too many stories. <laughs> My name's Jesse, Melissa's husband, and I'm going to be teaching today's workout. Uh, I actually wrote today's workout, so if you're mad or ticked or happy at the results, this guy. And the way I set it up is I wanted to be short, fast, hard and target different areas with each exercise. And I hate doing exercises multiple times. I'm kind of a repetitive freak. So, <laughs> our cats are having a royal rumble. So, the way I set it up is we're going to do 50 seconds of each exercise with 10 seconds interspersed to relax, recuperate. Those 10 seconds seem to go faster and faster and faster every time around, but stick with it. The first thing we're going to do is burpees, so I will teach you that first. And the way it's set up is cardio, targeting area, cardio, targeting area, cardio, so on and so forth. So, here's the first exercise, burpees. Okay, for those of you who don't know what a burpee is, you start in a standing position. Make sure you have plenty of room around you, especially above you, because you're going to be jumping. Squat down, palms on the ground. Hop your feet back into a plank position. You really want to protect your back. So walking back is also, also a very good option. Flat back, bend down with your elbows at your side, and do a push-up. Hop your feet back up or walk them and jump as high as you can. The second you land, repeat. I like to alternate my arms when I jump. Just something quirky to get me through. The next exercise is leg scissor abs. So get down on your butts. Assume the position, keeping your head off the mat, your shoulder blades lifted. Raise those legs up and then cut them like scissors. This really targets the lower abs and right up the middle abs. Try your best to go the full 50 seconds. I will try my best to stick with Melissa. Cardio burst. So we're going to do 50 seconds of toe taps. This is what I call toe taps. Start with one foot up on the edge of a chair, a large box, anything that makes you raise your legs up, or as we call them, forceful high knees. They make you lift your knees up. Whatever is safe for you to tap, uh, no children, <laughs> tap your toe up and tap the other toe. You're never really putting weight down on that object. You're simply giving it a little tap, tap, tap each time. So something like this. And I also got the smaller one to show you whatever your fitness level, whatever your comfort level or safety level is at. It's perfectly acceptable, acceptable to use lower things like shoe boxes or this stool which shorter people need to reach higher things. Next up, we're going to target our back, our middle back and lower back. I need to do these because as a distance runner, staying in that position for so long, my lower back really starts to hurt. Or if you're a nurse or if you're anyone who works on your feet all day, all the time, this is a fantastic exercise to work those back muscles and build up their endurance so you don't go home every night with back pain and sleepless nights. Superman, get down on your belly and try to go the full 50 seconds of these. Raise your head, raise your arms, and raise your legs as if you're parachuting or flying like Superman. And down. Relax real quick. Back up. And now my personal favorite cardio burst, high knees. Next, let's target those arms. We're going to do walking push-ups. So, get down into a proper push-up position. I'll get in an angle, maybe you can see this a little better. Get into plank position. 
hands directly down from your shoulders. You don't want them spread out real far. You don't want them too close. This isn't a cleavage shot, <laughs> Melissa. And what we're going to do is a slow controlled push up. Walk over and push up. And if you have the space, you can do two or three steps one direction and then two or three steps back the opposite direction. Whew. Now that we work those shoulders, let's give them a stretching break and the next cardio burst with jumping jacks. We're back to targeting the abs section. Not the discount double check, the abs. And you, when doing abs, you always want to start on the side that you feel weakest on. For me, I'm right-handed, I'm right-sided, so I start on my left. You place your hand down, break beneath your shoulder, stretch your feet out in a side plank position until you get your bearings. It's also acceptable to do this on your forearm, especially with balancing issues or if you feel a tweak or an injury in that shoulder, don't push it. Get down on your forearm or don't do this exercise. Stack your feet as best you can or keep one foot in front of the other, whichever way feels better to you. And you're going to dip that hip as far as you can and then pull it to the ceiling as if there's a string pulling it all the way up to the ceiling and then we're going to raise our knees and back. Next cardio burst, surfer jumps. These are pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you dip real low in those jumps. We did the left, so now we gotta do the right. <laughs> Our next cardio burst, for lack of a better terminology, we're gonna call it forearm leg jump over. So get into a plank position on your forearms, put your feet together, and then hop them back and forth. Side to side. <laughs> they look so fun. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna target our backs and our bums a little bit. We're gonna do double kickbacks. You'll see the double part. Starting with our left leg planted. I need a chair. Melissa does not need a chair, so we will probably show you the two different versions. So I use the chair just as a stabilizer, not for my whole weight. You lean forward with a straight back, you kick your leg, and then you point up your heel. Kick your leg, hook, and point up your heel. Next cardio burst. Let's work the inside of those thighs. We're going to do lunge jumps. So you start in a lunging position, and you're going to jump and switch. Never let that back leg touch the ground. Now, I'm going to keep my right leg planted and do those double leg kickbacks. Next cardio burst, let's get down on the ground. Let's do some mountain climbers. Get into a plank position, lift one knee up, and then tap them as fast as you can, driving your knee up to your chest. I see you smiling behind that camera. <laughs> Since we started warming up our arms with those mountain climbers, we're going to target those arms with down dog push-ups. These are not going to be as pretty as Melissa's are. Gentlemen, I'm keeping my bum that way. <laughs> You're going to get into a down dog position, pushing your heels back, raising your butt, trying your best to get your heels to the ground and trying your best to keep a flat back straight down towards the ground and then from here we're gonna pulse into push-ups make sure your hands aren't very far in front of you or too far underneath you straight ahead of the top of your head next cardio burst we're gonna do rope jump overs with just our left leg so, since I have a jump rope, I'm going to use that. If you don't have a jump rope, try to use something narrow that you can easily jump back and forth over that won't cause anybody any pain. So start on your left foot, hop over, and hop back as fast as you can, keeping your balance as best you can for the full 50 seconds. Next, we're going to target that low back and bum area again. We're going to do pendulum leg 
swings. So, I have to use a chair. Melissa probably doesn't have to. She might for this, though. And I do not put all of my weight into it. And I'm going to try my best to keep a flat back. Try my best. And we're going to keep our legs straight. And I'm going to drive it up as high as I can to the, out to the side, back down, and out this way. You should really feel it on the outsides of your hips here. Let's try it. Now it's rope jump overs on just your right leg. Faster, faster. <laughs> I'm going to break an ankle, dude. <laughs> that is bad safety technique. These ones I called pump handle abs because you're going to pump the whole time as if you're holding on to a handle. You're going to lay back, shoulder blades lifted, neck lifted, and feet lifted. I'm going to keep our feet together, keep our hands clasped together, whichever way you feel you need to. We're going to pump up, trying to tap our feet and straighten. Pump up and straighten, keeping your heels and head and shoulder blades lifted. So, in conclusion, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I hope it was an excellent push for you that you didn't get too tired or bored doing.